Okay, hello everybody. Hello, hello. What is going on, everyone? <clears throat> welcome, welcome. Happy Saturday, everybody. Um, yes, it's the weekend. And for many people, that means it's time uh, for some well-deserved time off from either school or work, right? Um, for me, it means it's time for more gaming, which is a good thing because we've still got four straight days full of streaming before I take any time off. That's right. Remember, this is the pretty crazy week for me. This is the final push, the final countdown uh, for me to raise funds for my taxes and also before I am off to Connecticut to spend some time with my parents. So this is a pretty big, important week for me. In fact, it's exactly one week left starting today um, for me to be here on stream with you guys um, before my time away. All right. So... I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. We've got lots of stuff coming up this week, including the co uh, continuation of Sekiro, um, more Mortal Kombat, lots of chill, fun gaming with things like Super Mario RPG and MLB, probably some more Blackout. Um, we've got a marathon coming up this, uh, this week. So a wide variety of stuff coming up. Also, I'll be decorating for my birthday about halfway through this week because it's actually exactly one week until my birthday as well. Which normally I wouldn't even really care too much about, but it's actually Kat who's been insisting that, you know, you should really celebrate your birthday more and you should talk about it on stream and, you know, let people know about it. So, one week till, apparently I'm 37 years old, I think. I think. If that's the math, if the math is correct. I'm not sure. <laughs> I honestly don't even know anymore. I personally don't really follow this stuff. Um... Very different than last year, because last year was the first year that Kat was here living with me, and so she made me this amazing birthday cake that was like chocolate and peanut butter and all that. This year, we're, there's no point in doing that, because we're out of here to head to Connecticut right after. So to make a cake, there's no way we would even finish it before we're out of here. So uh, more than likely, if we even do anything, maybe just grab a piece of cake from like the local grocery store and just have it together or something, but... Yeah, it's going to be pretty hectic. Allow me to explain, everybody, what you guys can expect in the next week. Because one week left before my time off, okay? First of all, I hope that you guys will spread the word that I am going to have a week off in April. Because I do my best to do so, and some people just don't listen. And then they end up coming, where's Phil? Oh my god, is Phil around? What's going on? Is he, what, did, did, did he get banned? What's up? <laughs> no. I know, I, re I rarely take any serious time off. I know that. Very, very rarely am I away from streaming for more than, say, a day at a time. And so when I get sick, like I did around Christmas, um, and I'm gone for like five days, or in this case when I'm traveling to visit my parents, people go, you know, people go nuts about it. And uh, I would appreciate it if those of you who are here this next week could spread the word. When people come around are wondering what's going on and tell people, listen, Phil's alive, don't worry. Uh, he's spending some much, imp very important and much needed time with his parents and Kat's meeting his parents and, you know, he's in Connecticut, but he's going to be back sooner rather than later with fun stuff in April, okay? <clears throat> All right, so let's talk about the next week. One week left until my time away. Today. Four plus hours of Sekiro on stream. I'm excited for it because the last time I played Sekiro, I actually did quite well. Like, it was a two-hour late stream, so it wasn't a super long one. But I investigated a whole new area, the temple, Senpu Temple. Fought a bunch of new kinds of enemies. Um, had multiple boss fights, two mini boss fights, and one major boss fight. They were entertaining and interesting. Um, I ended up getting a brand new weapon that allows me to now kill the infected, which are basically the undead people who will not die. I'm able to kill them now with this sword. Um, and it's pretty, been pretty neat. I'm not going to lie. It's been pretty fun. Like, that session was probably one of my favorites at, of all time of this game. Um, and it didn't have much rage. A little bit, but not too much. Um, and I think I'm starting to finally, you know, get, in, get the hang of this game. Um, you know, in reality, like, at first it was very tough, but now the parry timing and everything, I'm finally getting it down, and I'm able to basically, you know, persevere over these really tough bosses and the like. So, it's funny, because a few people were like, at this point, I've gotten so much health and so much extra, it's not called poise in this game, I keep forgetting what it's called. Posture, that's right, so it's 
I had enough vitality, enough posture, and I'm dealing enough damage now with all the upgrades that I that I have. Um that I shouldn't really have too much problems with the game until the end. A lot of people are saying the end game, the very end of the game, is very, very difficult. You know, and so we'll see when I get to the very end. I don't know how far away I am from the end. I mean, some people are saying I'm maybe halfway through. Um, if that's the case, great. Because I have many Sekiro streams, you know, today and probably Monday and Tuesday. And then probably one or two more later in the week. So maybe before my time away, I'll get like right to the end of the game. Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Um, but yeah, like, this is good. I'm, you know, I'm now at a point in the game where I'm actually really enjoying myself. And the game's opening up with various areas I can go to. And there's no, there's no set order I have to do them. And I'm exploring around and finding optional stuff. Last time, people gave me a suggestion of a couple optional things to do. And I hope you guys will remind me of what they were. Because I don't remember what they are. That was two days ago. And people were telling me about that. Um, so... Yeah, good stuff. And so I'm looking forward to four more hours of Sekiro today. I really am. I actually have been anticipating this, you know, for the past day and a half, waiting for the next session. So here we go. Um, tonight, I'm going to go back to MLB The Show 19. This is the Major League Baseball game. I started playing it on Tuesday when it was a new release. And overwhelmingly, the feedback was, this is fun, but it's not necessarily something we want to see as a major daytime stream. We'd like to see it maybe as a nighttime chill deal since it is kind of more you just swinging at the balls and catching balls. It's not super exciting, but it does lend itself to a lot of interaction. So people asked me to put it as a nighttime stream, so we're going to try it out tonight as a late stream. We're going to see how this goes today, see if you guys like it as a late stream. If it works with lots of interaction and everything, great. Then we'll keep it as a late stream, okay? Then tomorrow, I'm going back to Mortal Kombat 11's open online, uh, excuse me, closed online beta. I played it yesterday for four hours, and I actually really enjoyed it. I think I like what they've done with Mortal Kombat. They've turned it more into an old-school kind of fighting game. And a lot of fundamentals in this game, but at the same time, I don't understand a lot of the new game mechanics. There's apparently multiple new game mechanics that I don't understand because there's no tutorial in this online beta. So when the game actually does release in late April, with all the tutorial and everything intact, more than likely I'm going to understand it a hell of a lot better and get it but for now it's kind of like i'm scratching my head like what what am i supposed to be doing to get out of a corner when i'm getting you know attacked with mix-ups in the corner i know there's game mechanics to do it but i don't know what they are because they haven't been explained to me yet okay so i'm excited for more tomorrow i'm going to be playing the other two characters i didn't try out yet cabal and scarlet plus i'll probably still be playing with some jade and baraka um so four more hours of the mortal kombat 11 beta tomorrow if you didn't see my footage from yesterday you can go check it out on my my youtube channel dsp gaming it's all archived there nicely for you i think you'll like it i really enjoyed it okay and then tomorrow night i'm going to be doing my weekly chill minecraft stream and this week i'm actually going to be doing the right thing and if you're wondering what i mean by that last week i did a mining session where i was just trying to find diamond i didn't find a single piece of diamond Despite what all the stream viewers were trying to tell me to do, I couldn't find any. Come to find out, the stream viewers had accidentally told me a little bit of bad information. I was mining like three or four levels too high to find diamond. So, what, what it's looking like is going to be this week is I, another mining session. But this time around, it's going to be the correct level. So I'm going to go back to the, the mining veins that I created last week and just dig three, four levels further down in an effort to try to actually find the goddamn diamond this time, okay? So, that's tomorrow. Then on Monday, I will return to Sekiro for a major stream, and then Monday night, I'm probably going to do more Super Mario RPG, another game that's a chill game that I've been playing at nights, and I really enjoy it, and I believe at this point we're in, like, the final third of the game, um, although there is a lot of optional content in that game that I may or may not seek to do. We'll have to see. If, uh, you know, how, how time permits and what I desire to do with it, okay? And then on Tuesday, it's kind of up in the air. Because on Tuesday, I could do another major stream of Sekiro. Or I could just do something else. I don't know what I would do. Maybe something just completely random and different since I've been doing so much major Sekiro gameplay. That maybe I'll give it a, a rest. Maybe I'll do some Call of Duty that day or something. You know, some people are actually saying in Black Ops 4, they have a new multiplayer mode in Call of Duty. No specialists. It's just old school Call of Duty gameplay, running and gunning, rather than using all your bullshit specialist abilities. Maybe I'll try that. 
I don't know. Maybe I'll do something different. You know, I don't know. I, I'm thinking Tuesday, maybe I'll mix it up a little bit rather than Sekiro every single day. Um, and the same thing Tuesday night. I don't know what I'm going to do Tuesday night. Will it be more MLB? Uh, you know, what would it be? Some, maybe some, some Nautica. I don't know what I want to do Tuesday night. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to basically leave Tuesday kind of open as a day where we all just determine what we want to do together. So we got three days left to determine what I play on Tuesday. Okay. Then on Wednesday, I'm off. Uh, no streaming on Wednesday. That's my one day off before my, my trip. So my last chance to basically get supplies for the trip and everything. On Thursday, I'm back. And yes, it will be more Sekiro. Paired with another chill stream. What will it be? Don't know yet. We'll see. And then on Friday, it's my big marathon. Basically, it's a dual-purpose marathon. First of all, it's my big birthday bash, where I'm basically kind of celebrating my birthday, which is the next day, April 6th. So my big birthday bash marathon. I'll have decorations set up for this event. Um, and the hopes of this marathon, which will be a 12-hour event, just like the last one I did last week, is to raise funds for my taxes via tips. Okay, last one was successful. I need this one to be very successful because I need to make major headway in order to be able to pay towards these taxes and qualify for a payment plan. So I'm really hoping, knock on wood, everything goes at least as successful, if not more successful, as the last event. This time around, I'll have Streamlabs enabled, and I'm actually going to have some special things like a bar that will fill up over the course of the day as people tip to see how close we are to raising funds for the taxes and stuff. So it's going to be a very special event. The birthday bash marathon, also the, the big birthday bash marathon, and also, of course, raising funds for taxes, okay? That's going to be Friday, so uh, uh, this coming Friday, April 5th, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Games will include Sekiro, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, and Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout. Those are the three games that are 100% a given for this event. And each game I'll be playing at least three hours of, okay? If not even more, we'll see. But I am playing a lot of these games, okay? Um, <clears throat> um, and then maybe I'll squeeze in something else. I don't know. It depends really on how I feel and how time permits and the like. But the thing is, I kind of want to I want to uh, focus in on the games that you guys liked in the last marathon. And out of the six games I played, those were the three you guys really liked. And more people came out to watch and contributed during and everything. Like, that's what you wanted. So that's what I'm feeling. That's what I should focus on for this marathon. Okay? All right. Um. And then that Saturday, which is a week from today, April 6th, that's my last... First of all, that's my real birthday. That's my actual birthday, April 6th. That's my last opportunity for streaming before I'm away for about a week to go to Connecticut and visit my parents. And it's my last opportunity to raise funds for these taxes. So, you know, it's a very big week ahead of me. One of my biggest, most important weeks of my life, quite frankly. I need to really do well in this next week uh, to get out of the situation I'm in. I hope I do. I hope that you guys uh, will come out to the streams and hang out with me. Whether or not you can actually contribute via tips or not, um, I still would appreciate it if you guys could come and hang out with me on the streams and have fun with me. That's really what it's all about. Um, <clears throat> you know what I mean? I think at first, putting out an entertaining stream and having fun on the stream and having the fun interaction with you guys is the primary focus. And then everything else comes with it, right? So, oh man, hopefully, hopefully things go well in this next week, okay? Then I'm going, you know, starting April 7th, I'm gone. I'm on my way to Connecticut and spending a week with my parents. Kat's going to meet them for the first time and we're going to do stuff together and Kat and I will be going around Connecticut and doing stuff, you know, she'll be seeing all the stuff that I grew up with and everything. And then I'll basically be back that next weekend, okay? So a week, basically about a week I'll be away. What I will do is probably take some pictures while I'm in Connecticut to share with you guys and let you guys know how things are going while I'm there. Um, and then when I return, it's going to be continuing on with the stuff that I've been doing. So Super Mario RPG, if I haven't finished yet, I don't think I will. MLB probably. If I haven't finished Sekiro yet, more Sekiro, but I might finish it in the coming week, we'll see. Modern Warfare Remastered and Phoenix Wright. The collection will be releasing while I'm in Connecticut. And so I'll be starting up Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations when I get back from Connecticut, okay? As an ongoing playthrough. Okay? Fair enough? All right. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. All right. There you go, guys. I've covered everything for the next week. I hope you guys are excited. 
for everything, and I hope that you'll be supportive. The big, the big final week before my trip and the big birthday event coming up. Hopefully, everything goes well. All right. Um, outside of all that, I don't think I have much else to really talk about. I think you know, I think we're all primed and ready for some gameplay. So, very quickly, let's get to plugs, and then we'll do some shoutouts, and then we'll get started here. Fair enough. That's right. I do need the death counter. You are correct. Um, Corey, thank you for reminding me. Let me toss that up there. I believe we're at 92. If I'm wrong, I have no idea if anyone wants to look it up, but I believe we're at 92 deaths. I have no idea if that's even accurate because last time I stopped, I basically stopped counting, to be quite honest here. And I just don't really care about it, but you guys, for some reason, love the death counter, so I put it up there. <clears throat> okay. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, Thank you very, very, very much for all of your support, okay? Thank you for over 10 years of amazing fun on the internet, sharing gameplay experiences with all of you on a daily basis. Um, there are many ways that you can support me. Today is the 30th of March, which means you only have a day and a half left if you'd like to pledge to my Patreon for the month of March. You can check this out at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. Your monthly pledges to my Patreon earn you personal perks. For example... You can get the ability to nominate and vote on games for special events. I can confirm that in the month of April, we will have a new goal for subscriptions here on Twitch. And if that goal is hit, which I almost guarantee it's going to with all the new games and everything coming out in April, uh, we're going to be doing what's called a viewer's choice event. This will be a dual event where both patrons and viewers will be nominating and voting for games for me to play, do a full playthrough of in the future. And it's actually going to be the patrons who will have priority to nominate and vote on these games, okay? So, that's one of the benefits of being a patron. You can also get your questions answered for sure, guaranteed, on my bi-monthly Q&A show, Ask the King. The next episode will be in May. Or you can even get a private Q&A video made for yourself where I will basically do any, you know, answer any questions you have. And these could run anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes long, depending on what questions you have and, you know, how much of an elaborate answer I have for you. These are videos that you can use for whatever you want. You can keep it to yourself, give it out, whatever you want to do. All right, so give it a look. Patreon.com forward slash DarksideFill. Please consider pledging. A day and a half left. And yes, this does help me uh, for my whole tax situation and everything. So please consider it. All right? Now, I also have a merchandise shop over on Teespring where I sell all kinds of fun merch, including primarily t-shirts. But we also got things like hoodies and sweatshirts and stickers and mugs and all kinds of fun stuff. And anything you buy from my Teespring shop, you get a really cool collectible. And I obviously get a commission from it. So please consider Giving it a look, teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash DSP gaming. All right. And then, um, obviously, if you're here live on the stream today and you'd like to get some interactivity with me live on the stream, you can either cheer, sub, or tip. And if you do any of those things, I will give you a shout out during the course of today's stream. Okay. Um, keep in mind, this is Sekiro. It's kind of hard to. You know, just stop everything to give a shout out. However, this game also allows me to pause. So we'll see. You know, when there's pauses in the action or whatever, um, I will definitely be, uh, you know, giving shout outs for all of your contributions. As you see, we have a, a leaderboard at the top of your screen where I add things like the top cheerer and top tipper. All right. So those who are the top cheerers and top tipper contributors for today will get up there and get extra recognition for their contributions. All right. Um, excuse me. Oh, a little bit of gas. Um, the best way to help me out right now and contribute is by tipping me. When you tip me, those funds go straight to my tax situation, and I need as many tips as possible in the next week. It's the last opportunity for me to raise any funds for this situation, and I need as many as possible to basically get to a good situation here so I can qualify for the payment plan and not basically be told, well, you're screwed. So please consider tipping me today. If at all you have the ability to contribute, that's the best way. There's two ways you could tip me. Number one is to look below the stream. There's a tips jar button you could click on. Or you could type exclamation point tip into the stream chat, all right? That'll bring up a link. And either way, you'll end up on my PayPal tips page. A few things about PayPal tipping. First of all, you don't need a PayPal account to do it. That's right. When you go to the PayPal tips page right there, it says you can pay with a debit or credit card and you don't need to create an account. So that's one misconception a lot of people have. Number two, you can be anonymous. You don't have to put your name in a message at all. Although when now that I'm using Streamlabs, you can actually preview what your message will look like when it shows up on the stream, which is pretty cool. Um, but you don't have to leave a name in a message at all. You could just say, I'm anonymous, 
and therefore no one will know it's you if you're worried about contributing and having someone, you know, have a backlash or whatever. There's zero backlash for it, okay? <clears throat> All right, so please consider it. Thank you guys very much. For all of your contributions, I'm appreciative of anything you guys do, cheering, subbing, or tipping. Cheering and subbing helps me in the long run, but tipping right now is going to help me with the taxes, so please consider it, all right? All right, what I'm going to do now is get to shout-outs for those who have actually contributed, all right? And then we're going to get started with the Sekiro gameplay. Sound good? All right. All right, so we're going to start off with a few people who actually contributed overnight, Okay. So, we actually start off with Drunk Mike Tyson, who did two 50-bit cheers overnight. In his second cheer, he says, Will you be attending Evo this year or competing in any other gaming events? And the answer, of course, as always, is no. I am not a competitive gamer anymore. I have not been a major competitive gamer since 2007. It was 12 years ago <laughs> when I last really cared about that shit. I mean, yes, in the interim, especially when I started up with YouTube, um... And I was covering tournaments for video footage and stuff. Yes, I did enter tournaments. But I was not a super competitive player at that point. Um, my competitive days are long over. Unless there's ever another fighting game <clears throat> that really captures my interest. <clears throat> such as either Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo did. Or the original Marvel vs. Capcom 1 and 2 games. If ever a game gets my interest again like those. Then I would consider coming back to the competitive community. <clears throat> However, um, I never really, you know, none of these games in the last 10 years have really hit me like that. I haven't got, even though I, every once in a while, I'll get what I call the bug. It's that bug you get, oh man, I want to play a fighting game. I'm really craving some competition and I want to jump in and play some classic Street Fighter. I want to jump in and, and play another game, you know. I'll get that every once in a while. Um, but, you know, in regards to... Me going out of my way and changing all of my content to be competitive? No. As I've said many times, to, in order to be competitive, you have to dedicate insane amounts of time and money. All right? I would basically have to turn it into, on, in the daytime, I play, you know, a game. And that not every night stream ever would be fighting games. Every single night. Two plus hours of grinding away in fighting games. That's the only way I would ever get to a competitive level. And I'm not willing to do that. I like being a variety streamer. <clears throat> I like it that every time you tune into my streams, you're going to see something different, and you're not just stuck watching the same kind of content every single day when you jump into my stuff. That's what I like. That's what I pride myself on, okay? Um, the fact that I've been here over 10 years and I'm still here strong doing this is a testament that this works. Not, oh, I'm a one-trick pony. I only play one kind of game, and if you don't like that game, you're bored to tears, okay? Um... So, yeah, there's just, that's the bottom line, is I just don't ever really care too much about games, fighting games, uh, in the modern era. If, like I said, if there ever was a fighting game that, oh my god, I really love this game and I want to get great at it and I want to perform at a professional level, uh, could I do it? Yes. It would mean a lot of sacrifice. It would mean time away from doing what I do now and changing up my whole formula, okay, of what I do. And I know a lot of people would actually be very disappointed in me if I did that, okay, um, so it would be a big sacrifice and the bottom line is I'm not willing to do it. Maybe one day something will, will get me to the point where I like it that much. At this point, the answer is no. Okay. Uh, Golden Colts also cheered overnight. Thank you very much, Golden Colts for the overnight cheer. All right. So now we get to people who have contributed during today's stream. We start off actually with Silent General who tipped me $6.52. And you might be saying to yourself, why such an odd amount? The answer is very simple. He probably tipped me five pounds or five euros, and it converts it to American currency. This is something that Streamlabs does that Muxy would not. So this is actually why I'm going to start to get, you know, uh, amounts like this. All right. So first of all, before we even read what he says, let's get Silent General up on the leaderboard. The first tip of the day, let's give him credit where credit is due. And yes, it is $6.52. As for total tips, I'm just going to say $6. I'm just going to round. I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, be putting change into the total tips or anything like that. It makes it too hard to keep track of. All right. So Silent General says the following. Um, really looking forward to the stream. Like you, I much prefer Dark Souls to Sek Sekiro. 
for the variety of ways you can tackle enemies. Yeah, that's true. You know, when you played the Dark Souls franchise, okay, not only is there a wide variety of weapons that you can use in Dark Souls, giant great swords, staves, spears, uh, you know, knives, katanas, scimitars, um, hell, even defensive weapons like shields that can be used as weapons, right? Um, but also, you know, a lot of enemies, you could be more offensive, more defensive. Sometimes you could be a combination of the two. If you want to block and then counterattack, or you want to dodge and then counterattack, or if you want to parry, all those things are available to you in Dark Souls, all right? In Sekiro, there's only one way to beat every enemy. Just being honest, unless you can sneak up on them with stealth, you have to parry everything. There's really not that much else that can be done. You must parry the vast majority of enemies in the game. It's the same exact method to beat them all. You just got to learn the parry timing. Okay. So, um, yeah, the situation is that, um, there, in my opinion, there's just more variety in Dark Souls. Now, because there's more variety in Dark Souls, I actually think Dark Souls is much easier. You know, there's many different ways you can beat the enemies of Dark Souls, while in Sekiro, you have to master the one way to do it. And so, it's funny, because I've actually seen some people out there saying Sekiro is easier than Dark Souls, because it's just one thing you have to learn. That is true, but learning the timing, in my opinion, is not very easy. It took, I mean, look, how many hours into Sekiro am I, right? I'm a good, I think I was 12 hours, I played, so I'm probably 14 to 16 hours into it, and now... I'm finally getting to the point where I can parry stuff effectively. You see what I mean? Like, it took a long time for me to kind of get it. Plus, you it's on a bumper. The parry is L1. And for those who don't know, both triggers and bumpers on modern controllers are slightly delayed. While when you press a face button, that usually is not delayed. So if you're expecting me, you know, in reaction to something I'm seeing on my television to do something you would hope that it would be the most responsive, and it's actually not. Um, so in that regard, it's it's kind of challenging. You know, it is. Um, but I hear you. Like, I for me, I still think Dark Souls combat is better. I do. You can completely disagree with me, and that's okay. That's your personal preference. For me, Sekiro is a good game. It's a pretty much a great game. Lots of, you know, world exploration, enemy variety, world design, and everything. But... When it comes to the combat, I'm kind of like, meh. I'm not really sold on it, okay? <clears throat> okay. Shout out to 007 Blaine, who has resubscribed for 29 months. Thank you much, very much, Blaine. Good to see ya. I don't know if you're still here in the chat or not, but welcome. How you doing, man? I hope you're doing well. And it's always good to see regulars come on by to hang out. Very nice. I received a dollar tip from Third Eye the Third, who said, what's up? Still banned. Never going to be unbanned. But thank you for the dollar tip regardless. I appreciate that. <laughs> Let's get that up to seven bucks now. <clears throat> um, Judicious Echoes did a 100-bit cheer. He said, you can reassign buttons in Sekiro. Took people a while to get used to the Dark Souls 2. Nice that Sekiro offers a different type of variety instead of the same old. Yeah, and certainly I'm not saying that Sekiro needed to be the same as Dark Souls. It is a different franchise, right? It is. And I agree with you, oops, I agree with you that if Sekiro had been exactly the same as Dark Souls, that people might have said, well, it's just another Dark Souls, right? Not to say that there's anything wrong with that, and I think people would have liked it, but, you know, those who are looking for variety or something new from From Software might have been very disappointed. Um, but I have to be honest when I make direct comparisons. My direct comparison is I think Dark Souls is more fun to play. Um, I think this game... Even though it's fun to play, like I said before, is a game that was directly designed for those who like From Software games and play them via challenge runs. I play From Software games and I do a parry only run. I play From Software games and I do a level one. Um, you know, I don't level myself up. I use the worst weapons in the game. Um, kind of a deal. Because in reality, you could play Sekiro and never use the prayer beads and never use the memories, never level yourself up, never use the gourd seeds, right? And you could just go through the game, I'm a master of parrying, you know? I think that's really what this game is targeted at. And if that's you, that's okay. If that's really your cup of tea, but the bottom line is, it's not for everyone. While Dark Souls, because Dark Souls has a wide variety 
of game or of games, excuse me, of gameplay, a wide variety um, of ways to play it that I think it's catered more towards an open audience. Yeah, it's still tough, but I'll give you a perfect example. Dark Souls 3. They really kind of watered down the game that if you wanted to beat the game, you could use overpowered weapons, you could use summons, you could basically get through the game even if you're not good at Dark Souls 3, you could still beat it, okay? Not so with Sekiro. You have to be get good at the parrying of this game to beat it. There's no crutches, there's no summoning, there's no way around it. You can't make a build that's going to dominate the game. You just have to parry everything. Um, and that's okay. But what's happened now, and it's, it's kind of exactly what I said a week ago. This game is for the get good crowd. The get good crowd is the crowd of people who are like, you either have to play the game at a high level or don't play at all. There's no middle ground. There's no easy mode. And if you don't like it, this game ain't for you. Okay? And it's funny because I've seen a backlash over the last week on the internet, on social media, and in fact, in the gaming media as well, there have been several gaming journalists who've written articles saying, this game's too hard for people who liked other From Software games. This isn't fair to them because they're longtime fans of the franchises, and now they try to play this new one. They paid 60 bucks for it, expecting a similar experience to previous From Software games. They're not getting that. They basically can't beat it, and now they're pissed off. And I can understand that perspective. I can actually can. Um, but at the same time, Sekiro is not Dark Souls. It's just not. Okay. So, you know, you kind of had to, to know that going in. You know, From Software never said Sekiro is Dark Souls. All right. They never said that. They said it's a different kind of game. So even though there's many similarities, the bonfires and leveling up and everything is kind of similar, you know, you have to understand it was not going to be the same. Um, and there was going to be people who were going to be angry because the game does not allow you to make a build that just lets you dominate the game and get through it. There's no summons to, to hand, hold your hand during boss fights, you see. Um, see, the thing is, I can see both sides of the fence. Um, I can. I can see absolutely both sides of the fence. And what I would say is this. Uh, the bottom line is, in my opinion that Sekiro is fine, but I think that From Software purposely did not upfront explain that the game will not be for everyone because they wanted to sell more games. I do. I think that if From Software, from the get-go, had come out and said, FYI, Sekiro is insanely, gruelingly difficult. You need to learn a parry system, and if you don't, there's no other ways around it. We want to make this known up front to not upset our fans that half the people wouldn't have bought the game. You know, and then they would have complained, oh, sales are low, right? Now, that being said, I do still think there would have been people who would have run out there and bought the game anyway, not listening, and still would have been butthurt about how hard the game is. But I do kind of feel that From Software should have been more transparent. You know, you had Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Bloodborne that are all on one difficulty level, then all of a sudden our new hype franchise is twice as difficult, but we're not going to tell you that so that you'll buy the game and then you end up being frustrated and having what's called buyer's remorse. You spent 60 bucks on a game you'll never beat because the other games were way easier, okay? <clears throat> so, listen. Again, it's okay if you disagree with me. That's perfectly fine. It's perfectly okay if you disagree with me. But that's kind of my take. Being someone who's played all the From Software games, I still really like Sekiro. I do. But for me, I like the variety of ways that you can play Dark Souls. And it's disappointing that Sekiro is just parry everything and learn the timing and get good. And I do think this game does a lot of things better than Dark Souls. I love the grappling and the, the stealth and the exploration make it different. I can jump down a pit and grapple and roll and climb and do things I've never done in a From Software game before. And it makes it feel really fun um, in that regard. I love that. But at the same time, when every fight is the same exact thing, yeah, you know, it kind of turns me off. So it's kind of like a mixed bag for me, okay? All right, I received an anonymous dollar tip. And they said, how is it that controller bumpers are delayed and the face buttons aren't? Um, it's the way controllers are wired. 
the face buttons actually have direct contact onto the motherboard of the controller, while the bumpers do not. The bumpers and triggers actually uh, go into a different part of the controller, a different kind of contact that then has to interface with the motherboard while pushing the face buttons directly is on the motherboard. So actually it's better responsive and it's always using the face buttons than the, the bumpers and triggers. This actually was well known in the 90s when people were using controllers for fighting games. Um, you would always want to map your most important buttons as the face buttons, not the triggers or bumpers because the triggers or bumpers would come out later. There you go. Some people are laughing at me and saying that I made this up. It's not. It's actually 100% true. Um, but no one really talks about it. But there you go. Um, Missouri Lover, uh, to, uh, to the 50-bit cheer, and says, I'm going to say I totally disagree with you. I still get Souls games generally. I get my ass kicked by almost every boss, but I'm doing pretty well in this one. I've been one-shotting bosses a lot more often recently, and I just beat a difficult major story boss with only a few deaths. While it doesn't have any crutches, it also allows you to dominate the combat. See, and I agree. I, I'm not disagreeing with you at all there. But what I'm saying is, when you play Dark Souls, there's many ways to get around an objective. Oh, here's a boss. Well, I could have this really or this one sword build that beats it. Or I could be very defensive and I can beat it. Or I could be very elusive and roll around it and I can beat it. In Sekiro, it's, here's a boss, learn the parry timing, you win. That's it. There's no other way around it, you know? There's no, oh... I found five secret ways to beat the boss. No, it's just here it is, do it, win. And you have to get good and do it or lose. And a lot of people just don't have that kind of skill level or hand-eye coordination to do it. And, you know, well, on, good good on you, Missouri Lover, that you have adapted to it. Just like me, like I was sucking at it in the early game. Now I'm getting much better at it. So good for you that you adapted to it and you're getting better but that's not for everyone. Everyone, The reason people liked Dark Souls, a lot of people, is because of the variety of ways it could be played. I could be, play it with this build. I could play it with that build. I could be an, an elusive dodger and dodge all the enemies and then punch them to death. Or I could be a giant tank that blocks everything with a shield and then just giant overpowered swings. You, you don't get that in this game. Okay? It just doesn't exist in this game. Um, You have to do all the parries, so... There you go. Kanji Monster Charity says, From Software says all their games are hard. Would you really have believed that Sekiro is harder than Dark Souls 3? Yes. Like, Dar Dark Souls 3 is the easiest of all the Dark Souls games, by far. Um, though I would say there's only really two, maybe two, tough bosses in Dark Souls 3. It's not until the Dark Souls 3 DLC that the bosses actually get very challenging. And even then, there's only really two, two or three challenging bosses in the DLCs. Um... Yeah, like, Dark Souls 3 is very easy. And that was done on purpose because From Software was trying to appeal to a wider audience. And of that wider audience, a lot of people went and bought Dark Souls 3, and that's why they're so disappointed with Sekiro because they played Dark Souls 3 and were able to persevere and beat it, and Sekiro, they can't get past the early stages, you know? Um, but yeah, I definitely think, um, again, From Software should have been more upfront about this. They should have come out and said, Hey, guys... FYI, Sekiro is very different from Dark Souls, and you can't make your own build, and there's no summoning, and you're, you know, you're going to have a hard time unless you really want to master the parries. Um, that's what this game is about, and if you're not okay with that, you know, you, it's probably a skip for you because we don't want to frustrate our fans. You notice they didn't do that. Instead, they hyped the living shit out of the fucking game, and now that the game's out, you know, a lot of people are very upset that they paid, they bought this game and will never be able to get past some of the stuff. So, ah, now people are saying they said that. I didn't, listen, I keep my ear to the ground and I listen to social media. I never outright saw from software say that. I heard they said there's a new combat engine and I, they did say there's no summons. Absolutely. They said this is a single player experience. There's no summons. They did absolutely say that. They never said the entire game is just timed parries. Not once did I ever hear anyone say that whatsoever, and that's 100% the truth of the matter. There's no, you know what I mean? There, there are no other ways to beat bosses than just timed parries. And I never heard anyone say that. So. <laughs> mm. 
Adrenaline Dragon says, remember when people disliked The Last of Us? That didn't go too well with people either. Really? I See, I loved The Last of Us, so I really didn't hear much of that. I I thought the game was outstanding. And it ended up being, was it my game of the year? I think it was. <laughs> I don't even remember my games of the year anymore. But I'm pretty sure it was. Huh. <laughs> All right. So anyway, guys, um, it looks like that's it for contributions. What I'd like to do before we begin is just give a shout out to the top cheers of the week, and then we're going to get started. Okay. So let's do the top cheers of the week. Let's go ahead. Thank you to the following people for all of your contributions. In 10th place, we've got Golden Colts. Thank you, Golden Colts. We have a tie for 8th place between Mr. Papavera and DJ Runo. Then we have a triple tie for fifth place between Octoa, Straight Cash Homie, and Dope Soap. And then in fourth place, we've got Vote Democrat. In third place, Frederick Fossa. In second place, Frugals. And in first place for the week, Yoshino Lover. Okay? All right, so thank you guys very much for all your contributions this week so far. Again, only one week left for me to stream and raise funds for taxes. So if at all you're going to contribute today, guys, please, if you can, tip me. And there's two ways to tip. There's the tips button below the stream. You can click on tips jar. Or you can type exclamation point tip into the stream chat to bring up the PayPal link. You do not need a PayPal account to tip me. You could do it with a debit or credit card, much like any other contribution method. And you can be anonymous. You don't have to leave your name in a message if you don't want. You can just do an anonymous tip. Thank you very much to anyone who considers it. Your help is greatly appreciated. All right, let's end the pre-stream, and let's begin with Sekiro. And by the way, I certainly hope that you guys will help me, because uh, people had suggestions at the end of the last stream of stuff I should do now that I unlock this new ability. Damned if I remember what it was. I think they said you have to go back to the beginning and find a guy to mind control near a kite or something. Uh, I don't know what that means. So, all right, guys, let's begin. <laughs> 